Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new, please subscribe if you like good vibes. So first and foremost, do not be alarmed by my hair. In today's video, I'm showing you all how to do a jumbo braid using braiding hair. So let's get right to it. Step one, guys, we are going to pull all of our hair up into a ponytail. Position the ponytail however you like. You can put it up high in the middle of your head or down low. I'm going to do a high ponytail. So I already washed my hair. I like to start with freshly washed hair. So it's already been washed, conditioned, and blow dried. So I'm just kind of working it all up to the top. Hey smileys, hey! The hair I'm using is Expression Pre-Stretched 100% Canna-Collin Braiding Hair. It comes in a pack of three bundles and it's 42 inch hair. Okay, I am going to use some Shine and Jam Edge Magic. Just a little bit to kind of lay down the flyaways. This hair is pre-stretched and pre-layered, quick and easy to install, Easy to braid, easy to manage, ultra lightweight, and tangle free for the most part. Okay, so here's what we have. All right, guys, so next step, I'm going to use a little bit of Shine and Jam conditioning gel and kind of just smooth some over the ponytail so that it blends with the package hair a little better. So, as I mentioned, this is the hair that we're going to be using. It's just regular packaged braiding hair, pre-stretched. So this is how it looks. It's on the rubber band like that. This hair is not long enough to just put in as it is. So what I'll do is add hair along the way to extend the braid and make the braid longer. So you're gonna take just enough hair depending on how thick you want it. I don't want it to be too thick because I want it to look fairly natural. I'm just getting all of the kinks or any loose strands out of the bundles. So I just put my hair in a ponytail and secure my edges with a scarf to keep the hair in place while I install the braid. I got this side and then we got the natural hair in the middle. I'm going to leave out one piece of hair to wrap around the braid after we're done. It doesn't have to be a really thick piece, this should do. And this is gonna hide our hair holder in the rubber band. Next, I'm going to section my natural hair into three pieces, like you would with a traditional braid. And I'm gonna try to put the braid hair over my real hair. Section the hair into three pieces and braid as you would a traditional braid. I apply Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel to my natural hair to help it blend with the braiding hair. Continue braiding the weave all the way down to the end of the hair. Add in pieces of hair along the way to add length and thickness to the braiding hair depending on your preference. This is my second time wearing this style. My first time trying it out was on a trip to New Orleans for a wedding vow renewal and I loved it. So I wanted to give it another try. Babe, can you do me a favor? Can you stop this for a second? Oh. The style only takes a few minutes to install for a sleek, versatile look. The jumbo braided ponytail is a look that can be styled many different ways depending on your preference. You can even add some sparkle to your jumbo braid by popping on a few gold cuffs or other hair accessories. This is an easy way to switch up your look on the fly. So I just added in hair when I felt the ponytail was getting a bit too thin. You can start with more hair for a thicker braid. This style is incredibly low maintenance, it's trendy, stylish, and can level up any outfit. However, it doesn't last very long. I'd say a week tops. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, if you're fans of the WWE or if you know who Bianca 
Bel Air is, but the jumbo braid is actually her signature look. So she always wears it in the ring, and I think it was, I think it's really cute. Of course, Bianca Belair's braid is a lot thicker and a lot longer than the braid I'm doing today, but that just further proves how many different ways you can rock this look. You can do a side braided ponytail, a high or low braided ponytail. There's no right or wrong way to wear this style as long as it's true to you. I'm just braiding the hair down to the very end. This braid reaches past my upper thigh or right to the upper thigh. I didn't have to secure the end with anything. I just braided it into the very end of the hair. Then I used a piece of hair we left out to wrap around the base of the braid. This hides the rubber band on the braiding hair. I applied a little edge magic to the hair to help it stick and stay in place. Finally, I removed the scarf and slayed my edges because it's only right. Okay, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. I'm going for it. I don't do the over-exaggerated edges or baby hair that we so frequently see. Keeping it simple instead, I have fairly fine hair and it's not super thick around the edges. I'm just adding the finishing touches to the look. I'm working with a regular toothbrush and the Shine and Jam Edge Magic, which works great on my hair. And that is a wrap. Here's the final look, smileys. She cute. She cute. I tried to capture the full braid, but it's a little too long to fit in the frame, but here it is in all its glory. Thanks so much for watching, smileys. I hope you all found this video helpful. If so, please give it a big thumbs up. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.